So you developed a wonderful dashboard and deployed it on internet. Everyone is using it and they are loving it. Now they want to contact you to give you feedback, to collaborate with you, for queries and so on. But currently there are no contact details on your dashboard. So how can you include one? Well, one of the preferred ways to include contact details is to include a link at the end of your dashboard with your name. And when that link is clicked on, a simple pop-up will open where you can display information about you and your contact details. This pop-up is commonly referred to as model. And in today's video, I'm going to explain how to include one in your dashboard. So as you can see on my screen, I have a sample image open of a dashboard, which I had created in one of my previous videos. I will include link in the description of the video where I explain how to create this dashboard. And in this dashboard, I have included a link at the end, as you can see, where I am saying dashboard design by, and then there is a button. So button is a link. And when you click on that button, it will open up a pop-up window. So as you can see, this is the another image where I am displaying how that pop-up will look like. So in that pop-up, I'm simply displaying my name, image, some information about me, my contact details, and my social media links like LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, and so on. So that's how you can include your contact details in your dashboard. So let's get started with the coding part. I will share with you the code and explain you. All right. So as you can see on my screen, I have code for our dashboard open. And the code for the dashboard is kept in this file named dashboard.py. And the total line of code is nearly 140. So there is 140 lines of code in which I was able to create this dashboard. Much of the code is same as one of my previous dashboard. So I won't go into too detail in explaining that code. But I will be primary concentrate on the part where I add the model or pop up window. So as you can see at the beginning, there are a few imports which are commonly used for dash then plotly expresses for creating charts. Datasets is uh, from scikit-learn because I have used a wine dataset from scikit-learn. Then there is a pandas data frame and then comes the most important import for this tutorial, which is a dash bootstrap components. So this library is a wrapper around a front end framework named bootstrap and it provides a main component which we can use to create a model. So we'll be using this to create a pop-up window dash bootstrap components and you can install it easily using pip. So once all imports are complete, I have simply declared a function which will be used to load our data set. And that's what I'm doing over here. And then I have four functions. So these four functions are used to create a four different charts of our dashboard. So let me show you the dashboard again. So these four functions will be used to create these four charts. And each function takes uh, some parameter. So based on that parameter, the figure will be updated with the new selected widget values. And then there are four widgets. So four widgets are for four charts. And whenever widget value changes, the particular chart gets called this function and it updates the chart. Yeah, so that's uh, widgets. Then I have simply declared our app over here because our is a dash plotly app. And then over here, I have declared a simple DIV. So this DIV is for the sidebar. So let me show you this DIV is for this sidebar. And as you can see over here, I have included a simple header and then various widgets. So I'm wrapping all the widgets over here in this sidebar. And after that comes the important part, which is model body. So this will the, be the body of our pop-up. And it's a simple DIV again. And in this DIV at the beginning, first of all, I have included an image tag to include the image, my image. And then for class name, I have provided some uh, details regarding styling, which is available from Bootstrap. So I have asked it to create rounded circle and set it in center and so on. So image will be rounded circle and it will be in the center. Then I have included some text. Again, there are some text about me intro and about and so on. And then I have also included email details as you can see. So all this will be included in the pop up uh, body. And then I have a small div inside this one where I have included three links. And in these three links, I have included image. So LinkedIn image, Twitter image, GitHub image, and then links to 
all those uh, social media accounts so when someone clicks on that uh, particular link in the new tab as you can see target is slide to underscore blank in the new tab it will open my profile so they can contact me from there as well and they can contact me from my email id as well so this is the model body now we have declared model body but uh, we need to declare the link so let me go to image and as you can see over here when i click on this button it will open pop up so i need to declare this one as well and this one we will do in this part of the dashboard so let me go back to code and main content is that part of the dashboard so this is the main content div and this part of the code includes the four charts so as you can see this is the histogram then there is a scatter chart then there is a bar chart and then there is a heat map so after all the four charts are declared i have included a simple text dashboard design by and then i have included button with my name so dbc dot button so dash bootstrap components is used for creating button and i have included my name and this will uh, this button will be used to open and close the model and as you can see then i have declared a model so this model will be used we display when we click on this button so we can have model header model footer and model body in model header i have simply included model title with my name so my name will be displayed and then in model body i have included a model body which we explained earlier with all the images and intro and social media links and in footer i have simply included the close button which will be used to close this model and there is a parameter name is open which is false by default and this parameter will be set to true if the model is open otherwise it will be set to false so with this line of code as you can see i was able to include the pop-up window and this line of code so now that i have declared the link when which when clicked on will open the model now i simply need to do is declare a callback which i have done over here so what this callback do is that it takes the model is open as input as you can see and then if it's open this is open will return true else it will return false so based on the output of uh, this uh, for particular callback the model will be opened or closed so that's what will happen over here this part dbc.model is linked using this particular callback and then i have set app.layout with sidebar and main content so that's our dashboard total dashboard which is and then there are few important callbacks which are there for charts purpose and yeah then i can bring up the dashboard by simply running app.run yeah so that's our dashboard now let's run it and let me show you how the pop-up looks like so in order to bring up the dashboard first of all i need to start terminal and as you can see i have kept my dashboard in this particular folder dash dashboard with model and let me show you over here in dashboard.py i have total code now in order to bring up the dashboard i simply need to execute this file py dashboard dot python dashboard dot py and this will bring up the server and as you can see the server is up and running at this url so let me copy that url as you can see flask app is running on this particular url and port so let me go to my dash uh, web browser and let me go to this url and yeah as you can see this is our dashboard working dashboard and at the bottom i have a button and i can click on this button and as you can see as soon as i click on this button it's opening a pop-up window where the contact details and information me about me is displayed then you can click on this close button and it will be gone and you can also click close this pop-up from top down this close icon as well yeah so that's the dashboard and in today's video i explained how you can include a pop-up window in your dashboard so yeah that's it if you have any doubts or any questions then please feel free to let me know in the comment section and see you next time